Hello guys, it's Telly House here and today I'm gonna talk about whether or not you should update your iPhone into iOS 10.3 Well, we know that iOS 10.3 have just released a couple weeks ago and today they also released, no not today, it's uh, last week maybe they released another new iOS of 10.3.1 and because of the fastly release like that, so I think of an idea to make a video telling you guys whether or not to update your iPhone, especially iPhone 5, the 32-bit iPhone, <coughs> into the iOS 10.3. Well, here's the answer, is that you should never update your iPhone 5 to an iOS 10.3. And why should you not update to 10.3? Is that any bad? or oh, is that any harmful well here is the reason there is four reason after all that I'm gonna say and so the first reason is that iPhone 5 is a 32-bit iPhone so how about the iOS 10.3 iOS 10.3 is a 64-bit system so what's gonna happen when you have a, sh a, a big shirt wear it on a small body so you got a lot of space and you could not fulfill the entire shirt so it's just like the same to the technology device the 32-bit device will never be wearable for a 64-bit system I mean the 64-bit system will not will never be a wearable for a 32-bit body so your iPhone 5 is a you know not, not only iPhone 5 mostly of the iPhone and iPad are a 32-bit device and none of the I I mean none of the Apple operating system are 64 bit. Just the computer, I mean the Mac, yeah well the Mac is 64 bit, but the iPhone is not. The phone, the tablet, those are 32 bit. But Apple just you know they have an idea that bump into their head and said, Wow, you better create a 64 bit device. So now they create a 64 to 64 bit device for their iPhone and it's the first generation of a 10.3 so 10.3 is a 64-bit device and iPhone 5 is a 32-bit device so a lot of misunderstanding between these two stuff once you have it installed on the 32-bit device so you, this is the first reason that you should not update because your iPhone is a 64-bit device no, no, no. Your iPhone 5 is a 32-bit device and the operating system of iOS 10.3 is a 64-bit device. So, what is the second reason? Well, the second reason is that iOS 10.3 is the new release iOS. So, what happened for the new release iOS? A lot of stuff that are new must have to be tested. So, if you are the one who newly installed the iOS you must be the one who newly tested so if you are thinking that your iPhone must be a test subject maybe you can feel free to install it but if you say that you know your iPhone is much expensive and you don't want to get it laggy or even brick then you better not install it because the, the new version you should better wait for a lot long time until everything was verified by a lot of users that the iOS is perfectly and properly installed and should recommend you to install so never install an iOS 10.3 on your iPhone 5 because it is the new release iOS what is the third reason the third reason is that most function might be not supported on your iPhone 5 because the iOS 6 point well it relate to the first reason because of the iOS 10.3 is a 64 bit and your iPhone is a 32 bit so a lot of function will not fulfill the 64-bit system you know for example if the camera is a 32 you know just an example if the camera is a 32-bit and you install the operating system that require a 64-bit camera so what happened it mean that the camera will not work it will not display it will not take a shot anything and it's not work for example if you have if your phone receive a, if you can receive a phone call and the phone call is taking a 32-bit hardware but you know you have a 64-bit operating system so once somebody calling you you cannot receive the phone it's just like the PC when you get a 32-bit window and what happened when you try to install a 64-bit window they said that the operating system is not support because 
the software itself is a 64-bit and the software the hardware of your device is 32-bit so it's gonna be a lot way difficult to install an app I mean no not an app the function a lot of difficult way that the function will not working properly and it will take more time to fix such a problem that iOS have to release you know a lot of more new iOS like 10.3.1, 10.3.2 and even more <clears throat> and that is the third reason that you should not update to iOS 10.3 because a lot of function might not working properly so what is the fourth reason? the fourth reason is that since the first day of creation of the creation of an iPhone and the build it up in, of you know Apple app those are 32-bit app application was specifically designed for 32-bit because all, a lot of iPhone from iPhone 1st generation to iPhone 7 generation you know the iPhone 7 those are 32-bit app there never been a 64 app before inside an app store so what's happened if you're having an, a 64-bit system which means that you will need a 64-bit app to be installed and mostly of the app are 32 bit so if you are on iOS 10.2.1 you can use Facebook the 32 bit software properly so what happened if you upgraded to 64 bit well you cannot install Facebook because it is a 32 bit it's not a 64 bit app and you cannot install it so that is the problem you're gonna miss a million of app to be installed so you have to better I mean you better have to wait for a while when the developer redesign all of those app into 64 bits so waiting and finally the recommendation you know my recommendation is that you should wait for a little while maybe later this year or earlier next year to be installed of all of those or you can be skip the first one you know the 10.3 you know mostly of the you know mostly of the introducing of anything new should be better skip it because the first thing that start will never be perfect <clears throat> it will not perfect so you can you know you can wait until all app all function are working properly or you can wait for the new the next iOS or even if you cannot wait well you better go and buy a new iPhone something that is not iPhone 5 a 5s 6 6 plus 7 and 7 plus even more who know so <clears throat> if you can't wait that you can go and go ahead and buy up all of those stuff because all of those stuff is much advanced than the iPhone 5 and it, it hardware may be a little bit smoother than the iPhone 5 and if it is a 64 bit app to be released major the majority of the app will support all of those new device not an iPhone 5 so all of what I'm saying is the I mean all of those four reasons is suitable for you guys not to update to iOS 10.3 and also plus the recommendation that I give whether or not you follow but this is what I recommend so stay <clears throat> you know stay away from iOS 10.3 and enjoy your base operating system on your iPhone and that is all I want I want I want you to do and also I hope that you guys will enjoy this video and thank you very much for watching also don't forget to subscribe because if you're not subscribed you're gonna miss a lot of amazing video that I'm gonna post in the upcoming future so give them give me a subscribe and I will try to my best to provide you the best video and solution ever and thank you and also bye for now